What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Samsung has made a post over on their Samsung members community forum that is warning people to not use certain third-party accessories that are non-genuine Samsung OEM accessories on your Galaxy S23 devices. We're going to talk about what they said, what it means for you, and what you should do about it. Um, so that's what's coming up in today's video. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys that if you are interested in making a little extra money and you like reviewing apps uh, for Android, you think that's interesting, I have a program over on my website where you can actually review apps for me and help out with the channel, with research, and I actually pay between $25 and $100 depending on which app it is. I just started this program a couple months ago. Um, you can help me review. All you got to do is put in your name, your email, and sign up. This is U.S. only right now because of tax purposes and the fact that I have to pay people money to do this. Um, via, I usually pay via PayPal or Amazon. Um, but you can sign up over there if you're interested in reviewing apps. I really like having people's opinions. It also gives makes my job easier because then I get some research done for apps that I was planning to showcase on the channel. I'll drop the link below if you're interested. Uh, also, I have a brand new case in the house for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. This is the uh, Magback case which actually makes your phone compatible with MagSafe accessories. I'll have a full kind of detail of that in an upcoming video. But if you're interested, I'll definitely drop the link below to MagBack. They had one of my favorite cases last year for the S22 Ultra, and they've done a great job with the S23 Ultra as well. So over the weekend, uh, actually late, late last week, Samsung posted over on their community forum. Now this is originally in Korean. I used uh, Google to translate this. But um, this is a post from the Samsung community forums. A lot of times, the more interesting posts occur on the Samsung Korea forum because, of course, that's Samsung's home country. That's where they're based. It says, be careful when attaching and using non-genuine accessories to the Galaxy S23 and camera. And the main focus on this particular article is using lens protectors, those things that go around your camera. Uh, and not so much on cases, but let's go kind of in depth about what they said first. So it says, after purchasing the Galaxy S23, there are many cases of inconvenience caused by attaching and using non-genuine accessories related to the camera. Again, this is translating from Korean, so it's not perfect. Please refer to the following and be careful about using non-genuine accessories. So if non-genuine camera accessories, ring cover, ring case, or damage, external damage may occur on the camera part during the removal process. So that's saying uh, you don't want to use a non-Samsung ring cover or ring case uh, because it could you know, cause damage to the camera lens check the damage part carefully. So if, if it gets cracked, right, this is like a camera cover, like a screen protector, but for your actual cameras. So that's important to check. Uh, moisture or foreign matter may occur around the camera. Attaching non-genuine ring cover, ring case may cause moisture or foreign objects to become trapped around the camera. Camera quality may be affected when shooting. So non-genuine camera ring cover case, uh, similar to foreign objects in front of the camera lens. So the image quality may be lowered or the focus may be out of focus due to distance recognition error. Uh, take a picture after removing the non-genuine camera accessory. There may be a problem with transmission and sound. Now, this one is about cases for the most part. When using non-genuine case, uh, non-genuine, they're saying non-Samsung OEM cases, the microphone area may be covered. Now, this is only if you get poor cases. So let's be 100% clear here. Uh, I'll break this down in a second. But if you use a quality case, like this MagBag case I have on now, you're not going to have this problem. Obviously, you can kind of see reviews on YouTube. It says Samsung Electronics does not recommend using non-genuine accessories, we recommend using genuine or Samsung certified accessories for safe use of the product. Now, first of all, Samsung obviously wants you to buy their OEM cases because that makes them money. Um, but there is some truth here to what they're saying. Now, in terms of number four, which is the one, the only one that's really about cases, um, there I, I don't really think there's any problem with that, uh, honestly. I don't think there's any problem with using third-party case as long as you use one that's quality. Obviously, you can see here on this MagBack case, perfect cutouts. So you're not going to have a problem with sound quality. You're not going to have a problem with speaker quality if you get a quality case. Now, on the other hand, if we talk about the ring covers, there is some truth to this. And it's one of the reasons I don't actually use one on my Galaxy device. Because if you put like one of those ring protectors that goes around the outside of it, uh, or you put one of those ring screen protectors, which goes on the actual glass, you can have a degradation in quality, not only because, you know, obviously that could cause some moisture, like they said, it also could cause some focus issues because now it's shooting through another piece of glass. And depending on how high quality it is, of course, just like with a case, how much effect it has depends on the quality of the ring cover case, whatever that you get. But if you use one that's not the greatest quality, it can obscure it. 
especially if you're taking shots, you know, in low light, things like that, it can certainly cause problems. And then the other problem, which I think there's certainly some truth to, is that if those get damaged, unlike a regular screen protector, that could end up also damaging the lenses on your camera, the, the camera lens cover that's on your device if you have one of those cases or protectors on the top of it. So I think it is important to note that some of these things are in fact true, and it's one of the reasons why I don't actually use those third-party lens protectors. Quite a few case companies sent them to me, um, and it's just something that I don't do. You can see they show a picture of like stuff getting trapped around the camera because stuff gets under the cover, just like it does on a regular screen protector on the front. So you can kind of see if it gets cracked, it could damage the camera. So just a warning, uh, I do think it's something that's valid. It's something I was actually gonna make a video on when the phone launched, but I never really got a chance to do it. So Samsung reminded me about it. So I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it with you guys here today. Uh, again, if you're interested, check out my website. I'll have the link below. You can make $25 to $100, depending on the app. Uh, these are going to be taken on a rolling basis. So, you know, as people apply, I'll reach out to them and uh, I'll cycle back through when I get new apps. It'll be in the pinned comment description to sign up. US only for now. Try to expand it later on to international. We'll see how it goes. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.